What's up everyone, this is Coindog here with another GTA video. So in this video we're going to be looking at three performance tests for the Progen GP1. So this is the new vehicle that's been added into Grand Theft Auto today. Um, so we've got three tests to go through. We've got the two mile drag which you can see on the screen here and then we've got two different circuits um, to test the car in a variety of different conditions basically. So obviously the, the two mile drag is designed to test the acceleration of the vehicle. And what I've done here, because this is a little bit different from the kind of testing I normally do, um, I've put four different vehicles on the screen there for you guys to see. Um, so I've put the Fist Rate 1 1 up as well because that's the um, the, fa the fastest car um, at this sort of test, um, at least in my experience. We've then got the Nero Custom and the RE7B as well because they're both very popular vehicles to use for races. Uh, so I thought it'd be relevant to see how they all compare. And as you can probably see already, the, the Fist for 811 is obviously a long way ahead, but the other three, there's there's not a great deal in it. The Progen GP1 is nothing special in this sort of uh, situation. Um, and as you can see on the, the results here, so the Fist for 811 is, is near enough two seconds quicker than the GP1. Um, so, you know, the, the, the Progen GP1 is nothing special in this sort of test at all. Um, but what about around bridging the gap? So bridging the gap is a bumpy street circuit with mainly low speed cornering. Um, so this car has got a, uh, for anyone that doesn't know, this car's got a downforce statistic on it rather than just normal traction from a spoiler. Um, and, you know, downforce traditionally tends to be something that is very useful for high speed cornering. On this track where you've got a lot of low speed cornering, it, it, it doesn't help that much. But the downforce statistic on this vehicle is so low that it, it doesn't help much anyway. But in terms of how it drives, and I, people might not agree with what I'm about to say here, but in terms of how it drives, it's not that bad. People have been telling me on Twitter and all sorts that it's just awful to drive, and I don't think it is. It's not quick. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell you that it is quick. Um, if so, if that's what you're hoping for, then I'm going to disappoint you, I'm afraid. But it is not a bad handling vehicle once you get used to it. You know, I found it quite easy to, to consistently do decent laps around this circuit. Um, with this vehicle a lot easier than some of the other vehicles I've uh, I've driven it's reasonably well planted it turns in quite well um, into the lower speed corners um, higher speed corners it does um, it does understeer a little bit which is a bit of a pain but um, and it can't do this corner flat but you know it's not too bad in my experience um, however in terms of the time that it gets so it gets a 106 which is two and a half seconds slower than the Nero custom which is the fastest vehicle I've taken around this track so far so it, you know it's significantly slower it, it cannot compete with these top supercars around that sort of circuit and then we've got docked points which is a smooth stump piece circuit with mainly mid to high speed corners so i've intentionally got these two different tracks here so that you can look at the strengths and weaknesses of different vehicles on different circuits so this should suit this car a little bit better because it's high speed cornering however because the downforce on this vehicle is so low it doesn't really help in terms of its cornering speeds you know some of the it, it, it's again it's planted it, it will go through the corners okay um in my experience but the the speeds that it can take through these corners are nowhere near what what i was getting out of some of the other vehicles that have been around this track you know the re7b and the, the nero custom and all those vehicles that everyone knows are at the very very top of the supercars class um this just cannot take the same speed through the corners which is a real shame to be honest um but i I'm a little bit annoyed with Rockstar, to be honest, with this vehicle because, you know, they, they hyped it up, they released all these pictures of it, everyone was expecting great things, and if I'm honest, I wasn't expecting it to be super fast because it's based on an older supercar, but I was expecting it to be, you know, at least reasonable, um, but it's just, it's, it's it, it has no use, in my opinion, and it doesn't even look particularly good either, as I mentioned in the other video. Um, so, in terms of round that track, so again, 2.3 seconds slower than the, uh, the RE7B, so, you know, that's a considerable gap. Um, there is a lot of cars between the Anis RE7B and the Progen GP1 as well. Um, you know, it's just, it is not worth spending any money on at all unless you want it just for the way it looks. And I said, I don't personally like the way it looks, but some people might. Um, I've done another video on the, the customization of it, so make sure you check that out. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you found that video useful. Um, and hopefully in a couple of weeks' time, we will have some better cars to test than this. Thank you.